Our Misty Inglet spoke with the Boise Fire Department about holiday fire safety. She reports on what your family needs to know. It's a pretty regular occurrence. The Boise Fire Department says improper disposal of still warm ash is responsible for multiple fires every year. We see it over and over again with wood stoves or with uh, portable fireplaces. Those embers can burn for a really long time. And the fire department says a lot of people don't allow enough time for those embers to completely cool. Sometimes you can't even really tell that there's a small little ember that's still burning in there. In the case of this house, it was 10, 15 uh, hours after the fire. He really thought those were out, dumped them into his trash can, and they were not. Even a dozen hours later, those ashes still sparked a fire that spread from the outside of the house, up the side, and into the attic, causing extensive damage and displacing three people who lived in the home. The big concern that we have with putting warm ashes in, in a trash can is because there's lots of other combustibles, paper and plastic, and other things that can ignite fairly easily. So Boise Fire has a few recommendations for safely disposing of ash and embers. Oftentimes we recommend that you kind of feel them um, with the back side of your hands. Don't put your hand in there, but you can kind of feel for heat with the back side of your hand and see if, if it's warm. Deputy Chief Gervais says you can also mix the ashes around to see if any are still hot. You can also pour water over them to help cool them. And the fire department recommends putting them in a separate bin away from the house and make sure it's in a metal bin with a metal lid. It does a couple of different things. Number one, it keeps that oxygen from um, getting to those embers and, and causing it to burn readily. The other thing it does is it keeps pets, children, leaves falling, any, any other debris from getting in there and potentially causing another ignition source or a burn or an injury.